Hello my dolls and welcome to part two of open strain work. These kinds of exercises are really underrated by a lot of people and I think it has been so crucial to my development as a cellist learning to love working on open strings. If you missed part one, I really go into detail about the value of open strings. So if you haven't seen that yet, I would recommend starting there first and then getting right back over here. So before I drop some of this knowledge on you dolls, please like the video to show your support of Cello Doll and subscribe so you can see my latest tips and tricks and music videos and vlogs, <gasps> everything. What I wanted to do for part two is show some exercises that show the strings interacting with one another. In the first video, I did a lot of exercises on one string. So here are some ways you can see how your strings interact because it encounters string crossings. A big thing you will encounter in your repertoire and it can cause some problems if we're not careful. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna start off with the try and true Mr. Howard metronome marking of 88 beats per minute. Or you can pick a metronome marking that matches your big piece of repertoire. Or I've done them at 60 some weeks. Don't be afraid to do something slower. So let's start with 88. And we are going to do two slurred half notes. Starting on the D string, going to A, A, going down to D. And as you're crossing strings, there should not be a gap in your sound. If there is, you need to make the little roll microscopic baby like really tiny pivoting to the a and down to d see how small you can make that change so let's try it now with g and d string <laughs> between the G and D string. That is a way to help fix a gap in your sound. Actually focus on playing both strings at the same time. And then little by little we take that sound away. exercise with the C and G string. And for our last exercise, this is a variation on something from part one where we had the four eighth notes by the frog and then a dotted half note of three beats. Start with the eighth notes on one string, and then when you get to the long note, move to the string that's next door, like this. about open strings without once again thanking one of my past super influential mentors, Peter Howard. These videos are for you so I can spread your message to the power of the open string. Thank you for really changing my technique for the better and advancing my growth as a cellist and also for just really deeply caring about helping me to be the best cellist I can be. Still figuring that out, but we will get there. 
Once again, thank you dolls for watching. I am the Cello Doll. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, here on YouTube. Bye!